this is Heather with the House of Success, and I just want to talk to you about how happy you are, really. Like, how are you feeling inside? How are you looking at your days and everything that's going on around you? Are you focusing on other people and how maybe they pissed you off or they're not doing something right and this you'd be able to do this if that person would just do that? You know, and or just oh man, I'm so mad because because so and so said this or so and so said that. If, if that's how you're thinking, then you really, 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 really need to take a big step back. I'm speaking from experience here. Take a step back and just think about that person. Take a big, long, just relax and think, okay, how is that person affecting my life? And does it really, really matter? And think about how much control you have. You, are you letting that person control your actions and your thoughts? Yes. So the, the thing to do is not let that person have control and take the stand to have the control yourself. You decide that you are going to be happy. It's a decision. It's not something that happens to you. You just decide, okay, I'm happy and you love everything that's going on around you and somebody else with their negativity or drama is not going to take power over your power. It's something that you have to make a conscious decision on what to do. This is something that I struggled with for years. I went through many just horrific days and months and years of waiting for somebody else to make me happy. And then finally the light bulb went on like, whoa, wait a minute, I'm in charge of my own destiny here. I'm the only one who is going to wake up and put a smile on my face. I can't wait for my husband to do that for me or one of my friends to call me up and, you know, when I'm waiting for them to call me and they didn't. I can't, that, you cannot control, let other people have control over your life. You control your life. You are the one who decides what your day is going to be like and how your attitude is going to be. If your attitude is going to be looking for why somebody made you mad and what you're going to do about it and what kind of revenge you're going to get, how does that feel inside? It's tight. It's, it's no fun. And it's no fun for anybody around you either because everybody around you will feed off of your energy and you're sitting there all miserable. You're making yourself miserable as well and unhealthy. It's so unhealthy for your mind and your body, as soon as you let things go and put a smile on your face, everything around you starts to come together and life is awesome. So I want you to take the time to think about what is going on around you, who is stressing you out. That's my kids jumping in the pool right now. And why you were letting them have so much power over your, deci your decision on how you're going to run your day. You're going to waste, you know, 8, 12, 24 hours stewing over, over something somebody else did. Then they win, you know. It's, and, and who cares? They don't care. Do you think they really care about whether they are making you miserable or not? Because they are so wrapped around in their own misery or whatever else is going on in their life. It has nothing to do with you. If you just let everything go and just make the decision that, hey, everything's great. And even if th things aren't great and there's shit going on, excuse my language, that you don't have any control over, like maybe the pipe bursts in your kitchen, like which is what happened to me today, but oh well, you know, we got somebody in to fix it and it's all good. So, you know, just don't make mountains out of molehills and choose to put a smile on your face every day and be grateful for everything that's going on around you. And then even better things will happen because it'll come to you and you're so happy and, and loving life that life brings great things to people who deserve it.
you don't want to be stuck, you know, shutting the door in your bedroom, putting the sheets over your head, crying. You want to be happy and enjoying life. Life's too short to be miserable. So be happy. Just make that choice. It's a choice. Every day that you you uh, consciously make that effort to do it, it gets easier. I promise you, it gets easier. Just, just whatever it takes. Read some books, listen to audio, you can do it. Okay, this is Heather with the House of Success, and I'm wishing you happiness. Cheers.